recording with camera two. Camera two seems to be rolling. Okay, I think we've got audio and video. Hi, boys and girls. It's me, Butch. Today is uh, the, uh, oh, I think it's about the 6th of November, 2017. I'm 73 years old. I'm an old fart. And I've been promising myself I would make a video about bed bugs. So here we go. I'm testing out something on the cameras, which you don't give a crap about. And I'm going to talk to you about bed bugs. So if you've got bed bugs, and you're probably here because you do, uh, you want help. But very briefly, bed bugs are a very tiny, reddish brown, reddish black bug that can run very fast and it's nocturnal usually it uh, seems to have pretty good night vision and it finds you the way mosquitoes do by tracking down your breath your co2 but it seems pretty good at seeing heat like so we should assume it has pretty good night vision so if you've got bed bugs you've got a problem you've got a problem that might be quite serious but even a little bed bug problem is a serious problem. Uh, you probably know it because you've got bites. So you're going to have to do several things. I strongly, strongly suggest before I go any further at all that you get professional help. This is a really effing serious bug. It is really hard to kill and it's really hard to get rid of you can do it on your own I'm going to tell you how to do it it's not a quick and easy process but you can do it you just stick to your guns and you'll get rid of those little suckers so first of all I highly advise you to seek professional help this is a really mother sucker of a bug and it's been around since before the ice age just so you know that cold won't kill it you, you can't <laughs> it'll just hibernate and even if you kill the bug the eggs are even harder to kill so very quickly what will kill the eggs uh, there are certain kinds of poison that will do it but most commercial operators will lay down uh, they will give you a whole bunch of instructions which I'll get into uh, they will lay down some residual poison which the adult bugs will cause them to die and uh, when the eggs hatch they will also the poison will be around long enough uh, to kill the ones that hatch they don't stay in their egg state that long unless it's very cold heat will kill both the eggs and the bug but it has to be 135 degrees fahrenheit or higher preferably around 140 degrees you should know that 140 degrees is the hottest hot that you'll probably ever get out of your hot water tap because most safety standards won't allow it to be higher than that because even at 140 degrees it can cause second and third degree burns to a person and it'll kill a bed bug. So you've got bed bugs. You've got to decide what you're going to do on how bad you think it is and where you live. If you live in a house, it's your problem. You should Nobody should feel guilty about getting bed bugs. You could have picked them up on a bus at the library, at the airport. Who knows where you picked one up. But now you've got them and it's a problem. You know you've got them because somebody's got bites. Uh, the people I find that have... Uh, Type A blood uh, or type, especially type A blood, seem to get more severe reactions. That's just been my experience. So the bites may bother them a bit more, and you're just gonna have to get some calamine lotion and live it out if you got bites. Where was I? I, I wonder. I'm getting old. I'm 73. Um, so heat will kill them, uh, but where you live. Uh, if you're in an apartment building and it's a wooden structure, you really need to inform the management. It's highly possible or probable you got the bed bugs from one of your neighbors or you're going to give it to one of them. These little bugs get around really fast and they can travel fast and they do. They can go through tiny, tiny cracks. They can go through electrical conduits in the wall 
and old wooden structures have lots of easy, easy passages for them to spread. Uh, they could spread through a 20 unit building within 30 to 60 days. The entire building could become infected. And then you really got a problem, especially everybody has such a nightmare. So you got to advise your building management. You should also advise your neighbors. It's not your fault if you've got bed bugs and don't blame them. And if they start getting on your case, well, screw them. Uh, but you really should advise your neighbors that you've got bed bugs and you're going to work on getting rid of them and tell management and they should take responsibility for helping because this could become quite expensive. So the bed bug people, they're going to give you a bunch of instructions and I'm going to give you similar instructions. You want to go out and get a bunch of big garbage bags, preferably clear, because you're going to have to, if you have a serious infection, go through every single drawer of every single dresser and all your clothes, all your bedding, all your towels, everything. You're going to have to, before a professional comes, move all your furniture away from the walls. You're going to have to remove everything from every drawer. So you're going to need garbage bags anyway. And what you're going to do with those garbage bags is you're going to seal them. And then when you have time, you're going to dump everything in that garbage bag in a dryer and put it on high for at least 15 to 20 minutes. If you don't want to go searching for bugs or eggs through any of that clothing, if you think you have a serious infection, just put the whole shebang in a dryer, run it on high, which should be high enough for at least 20 minutes up to half an hour, and you'll kill the bugs and you'll kill the eggs. Um, Things like people say, like you can use bleach. Well, that's pretty insane. Bleach is dangerous to handle. It can destroy clothing, furniture, rugs. <laughs> I mean, finding one bug and killing it ain't going to do you any good. The eggs are going to get you. They're going to hatch. So what have I told you? Heat will kill them. You've got to, when you're going to work on your own, you're going to have to do these things. The first place you're going to look is in your mattress, of course, in your box spring, and a good sign you've got a serious infection will be very little dark brownish black or reddish black or black or very dark brown spots in areas like in corners or crevices. That's just bed bug poop, and that means you've got bed bugs. You might see a bed bug. You might see some eggs. So if you've got a really, really serious infestation of your box spring and mattress, you might want to think about throwing it out. Most people do. If you don't, well, once... Uh, <laughs> this is a real problem. You, you, you can start washing all that poop out with soap and water. Forget about it. Most people just ditch the mattress and ditch the box spring. The next place you're going to want to look, of course, is in your Chesterfield and things like that. So look in all the crevices. Get out the old vacuum cleaner and uh, vacuum all the crevices. Turn the sofa over and look and see if you can find any sign of the bed bugs. And uh, get in there with a the vacuum cleaner as best you can and move on. You don't want, you can throw out your Chesterfield too if you want, but. Uh, if it's not too bad, you're not going to see it. It's not quite the same as being in your bed. But what can you do? Because this video is already getting long and I talk forever. What you can do is go to your local hardware store or uh, gardening store and you can buy something similar to this. I can see you on a screen there. This is a green you know, an eco-friendly insecticide for using in your garden and for your camera over there. You can probably see that. Um, en français. <laughs> and what you want to look for in this eco-friendly garden stuff is that it has stuff called diatomaceous earth. I'll write that in the description, what that word is. Uh, it's usually abbreviated as D, the letter D for delta, and E as an echo, D-E, diatomaceous earth. Now that stuff is used in a lot of things like food and swimming pool filters, and I cannot guarantee you that swimming pool D-E or food grade D-E will work. But the stuff you buy in the gardens will probably say somewhere in what kind of bugs it kills that it will kill bed bugs. 
and the way it kills bed bugs is all bugs are very clean little animals. They're very clean, and they'll lick their feet. They'll lick that crap off there, and that stuff to them is like eating powder glass. It's going to dry out their insides, and it sucks water in, and the same thing happens when it gets on their skin. It's going to make their skin very dry, and it's going to kill them. Just don't worry about it. It's going to kill them. Now, this stuff isn't particularly harmful in any way to, uh, to humans, but for people who have breathing problems, for pets and children, when you're spreading it around, I suggest they not be around. And one of the ways you can spread it around is with a brush. Now, uh, what you're going to want to do is get this stuff and spray it inside your box spring and on top of your box spring. Who gives a crap? The stuff is just dust. It's white dust. And if you leave it there, any bugs that are in your mattress are going to have to pass through it and die. You know, you can do... Once you get rid of them, you could leave this stuff inside your box spring and it would be like a permanent barrier against future attacks. But while you're, uh, while you're trying to deal with them, you could take some of this uh, powder here, like, I don't know if you can see it here. Let me see this camera here. Ah, let's see, can you see that? That's a little bit of the diatomaceous earth there. Oops. Get back and focus. There we go. Thank God for autofocus. So you can, uh, I'll get back here a bit further. Uh, you don't want to breathe it, uh, but you can uh, spread it around, you know, a bit with this stuff. And it doesn't have to be everywhere, but you want to, you want to, with your bed, get something like an old lid or a, a butter container or, a, you know, a yogurt container or an old tin and, um, you're going to want to, uh, I'll put some in here, this big thing, you know, sprinkle a bit of that stuff around in, in there and, and uh, you know, a good little bit. The stuff's not that expensive. Uh, to make sure you've got a, a good little layer in the bottom here. And then put the post of your bed in there and you're going to leave that there for up to a month. After you realize you got rid of the bug, you can get rid of it, but until you know you got rid of the bugs, no more bugs are going to be able to get up to your bed without crawling through that dust. And the dust will definitely, positively, without any shadow of any kind of dust, doubt, kill the little suckers. Good riddance. Um, and the other thing you're going to want to do with this dust and, and with the brush is you're going to want to go around the baseboards of your, uh, of your rooms and, and spread it around there just... Put a good dusting all around there and, and leave it there for a couple of weeks. Uh, these The little bugs can hide in any kind of crevices. Uh, if you have pictures on the wall, you got to take the pictures off the wall and look behind them. Make sure there's none hiding behind your pictures. Uh, they could be hiding inside electrical conduits, but don't look in there. Uh, you're not an electrician. I'm an electrician, but you aren't. Don't. But they could be in there, so that's why you want to put the... Uh, well, you guys over there on camera one, too. That's why you want to put the uh, dust along the crevices of rooms. And, and like I said, you know, get the kids and uh, the dog out of the room and you're doing that. The stuff's not really going to get in the air. Uh, so, like, the fact that there's a dust, it's you just, when you're applying it, dust can all get, who knows, and get in the air. Uh, so, you're what you're going to want to do is you're going to have to... Um, very brief because I think I just missed a whole lot of points. Inf advise your, your landlord or your neighbors and then start the fight. If you can't afford professional help, go to a garden shop and get some insecticide. Things like raid. It, it, <laughs> the bed bugs are laughing at you. <laughs> they drink the stuff. What do they care? It won't kill them. It won't touch them a little bit. You need high-grade professional poisons that are very deadly and you can't get. And after your home is done, I suggest if you have children or pets that they stay with uh, somebody else for a week after you get treated. Uh, adults is not, you know, you can come back after six hours or whatever they tell you, but uh, <laughs> me, I'm a scientist. I wouldn't this is really serious poison these, these guys do. Some professionals, if you have a house or apartment, will come. Uh, 
they will seal the entire apartment off and they will pump heat into the apartment for several hours, probably the entire day. They will raise the inside temperature of your apartment to up to 140 degrees and leave it there for the day and every bed bug, uh, any bug should die. <laughs> any bug <laughs> should die at that temperature. You'd die. Um, so, you know, you have to vacate the apartment. But uh, the solution is spreading diatomaceous earth around in your, your box spring and your furniture. Gather up all your clothing and uh, have it either dry cleaned or put it in the dryer for half an hour. And uh, inspect all your drawers. Inspect behind pictures for eggs. Vacuum your place, like, seriously. And... Uh, now my camera went off. I don't know if I just lost you or not. Oops, I don't know what's going on here. What happened? Shit. Yeah, I think it was a waste of time. My screen just went off. Oh, there I am. I'm back in here. Maybe I am. What do I know? Um, sorry about that. I lost my screen. Um, I think I covered everything. Diatomaceous earth. It'll probably say it'll kill bad bugs on it and uh, DE you can get it and uh, you can get rid of the suckers if you just work at it. Heat things, look for the suckers, DE, see them at 16 minutes and I've already gone longer than 15 minutes. So Butchie Poo is going to shut up and turn off camera too. Bye bye.